I like that. This is TJ with Bull Ridge Plumbing. We are at 2616 East 9th Street, making a dirty movie on the roof, giving the neighbors something to talk about. Currently 91 feet out. We did not make it to the city tap. We've lost all of our push. So we're going to start here. We're going to work our way back. Right now we are on a clay waistline. Let's start backing up. I got David working the camera. I'm, uh, I'm narrating. And today, yeah reading like a kid's book right there we have a slide offset anytime we do a clay waistline we expect to see slide offsets and roots this sewer does not disappoint we got a few minor offsets nothing real major so far you can see we got a trailer right there where we've hooked a root and we're pulling a piece of debris back another offset right there got a few roots in it pretty minor right there here we've got a larger ball of roots coming in on that left side see that we are catching and holding some debris starting to cause some issues there there's some of that debris we were just talking about really not sure what it is probably don't want to know hopefully it's paper towel yeah no don't flush paper towels either no paper towels no flushable wipes more roots there on the left side got a little bit of a belly right here anytime there's a belly there's always concern that it may catch and hold debris causing backups requiring more maintenance not saying this one is it's just a concern that we have anytime we see a belly like that here's another little belly right here so we had a large guide ball on we got a spot back here where we had some issues we got caught up and we couldn't get through so we had to take it off so we're running right on the bottom with just our head David's worked up a sweat over here pushing on this cable Cable this time. It is 90 degrees outside too, so, you know, it's what us fat kids do. We sweat. So here we got more roots coming down there on that right side going towards the bottom. More roots there. Those runners like that are the ones that cause the most issues in the sewer. Right here, let's go through this part slow. So right here, we run into a little bit of belly. We transition to a different type of pipe. I believe this is Orangeburg pipe. Orangeburg is basically a, a cardboard tube with pine resin. And you can see the humps that it's creating in the little pits. Um, it was, I don't even know what it was developed for. Developed for sewers, obviously, but it's about a 50 year sewer. That pine resin deteriorates and then it starts absorbing into that, the, the pulp the paper and then it causes these humps these bellies all this stuff you can actually see right there there's a hole in it um, got a lot of these humps and holes and there was a good one right there you can see we're going into a big hump right here we popped over the top right here's the spot that we were struggling to get past with the big guide ball on because of this large hump um, anytime we see Orangeburg we generally recommend replacement but I'm going to throw the disclaimer out there right now. I am going to take this back. We will view it on the big screen. We will get a second opinion before we call this Orangeburg. We want to know for sure before we just throw it out there. And all of the final say will be on the written report for the real estate deal. more heaves right there that's a big heave right there you can see just where water's gotten into that paper and swelled up so the clay sewer with the roots in it we're going to recommend a clean and a treatment on this part i believe will need to be replaced just because the way that it's going now it will fail and when it fails it's gonna cause a lot of issues right here we transition from the orangeburg to the cast iron that's right outside the house here i believe that orangeburg is here in the backyard we'll actually show it to you um, when we pull out and then another small belly down in the cast iron and right here we make our swing up we're going to come up the vent
all the water's running off the head, so it makes it really hard to see. And David's trying to not to make a mess here. I appreciate it. So we're out of our vent. There's our vent. Let's show that backyard. So I believe that that Orangeburg is underneath this yard right here. Um, 30 feet to 50 feet would be just about this distance right here in the backyard. So we will, uh, like I said, we'll take it back. We'll review it and we'll go from there. This has been a Bull Ridge Dirty Movie production. Thank you.